Check this out, bad boy. Well, I don't know if it's a bad boy yet, it might not be a bad boy. So we've been using the Bosch floor vac, but oh, sorry, we've been grinding out the floor. Because it's all got to be re grouted. And the Bosch one's filling up that fast. So we need a bigger tank. So in Australia, you struggle to find good tools. Um, so we've had to go to Bunnings. That's the best one they've got. So it's a Ryobi 1400 watt, 60 litre wet and dry vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to get it set up. It feels all right, like the, the, the pipes and everything in it quite chunky. Um, mainly we need four tool because that's, that's, like the company, oh, that's like the company one and it's no good. Um, but you've got a big handle for the back to pull it around. Uh, some of them have a tilt feature where they, you can pick them up and tilt them out. So I get it out of the box now and have a play with it. It's a bloody big one. Long wire on it because in Australia they put that sharp feet on it. Oh my god, that is heavy. That's a big heavy rack. It's good. Three foot high. Put it inside. There's all the feet fixtures inside. Pipe's not very long. So the pipe's about eight foot long. With the Bosch one, it's absolutely massive. Where's the Oh, so I can show you. You got the Bosch one. It's about 15, 15 foot long, so you get quite far with it. As you can see, it's a messy job. Also, we've got in here a little bag to keep all your fixtures and fittings, wheels, uh, floor tool. That's all for this. One handed. One handed. Yeah, floor tool. So. Usually they've got rubber on both sides, but this one's got brushes and the rubber. So with a wet floor back, it's usually rubber on both sides to give it more suction, but as you can see. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get this set up and we'll see what it looks like when it's going. Get it all out, wheels. Easy enough. Put them on and then you screw them into place. It gives you a little bag of screws to put them on. Uh, main wheels. Oh, there you go. This is one of the fittings for them. Just have like an axle. Hmm. Can't see it now there, it's hiding at the bottom. Turn back, so yeah, an axle to go on. Put the wheels together. Yeah. And then you've got split pins that go obviously through there to get it on, so. Shazam! I've got all the wheels on and everything assembled. I'm just looking at it because we're going to be using it with wet backing, so when it comes, it comes with the, the standard filter, and this piece goes on top. So it seals the leg, so you just untwist that. But it says on the picture, so for, for using dry, you use a paper bag and the cartridge filter, filter, so that's a cartridge filter. For wet vacuuming, it says use the sponge. So the only thing you can find is this little bag. So I'm assuming that you take these two off. And then this bag goes over the top. I've just done it for a little test and it does actually go on quite tight but there's nothing to hold it on so I guess you just pull it down but well, be careful with this bag as well because it feels like you'd be able to rip it quite easily so yeah, I think that's it there's no like zip ties or anything in the bag to, to actually hold that on so hopefully it doesn't blow off um, you get another little bag as well that's to put like yeah your filters in, you know when they're covered in dust it says you can put them in that, but yeah, I don't know. So we'll keep all these bits together anyway because we're using it for wet vacuum today. And then you get all the bits, you get like the nozzle, you know, for using on your tools. You get the crevice tool, and you get the brush tool. But we'll be using this tool for the day, so let's give it a whirl.